Hi, this is Kendrick at worldmedicalschool.org. And uh, today I'm going to talk about otitis externa. This is something I saw like five times last week in the clinic, so I thought I should do a video on it while it's still fresh in my mind. These are often children. Uh, they don't have to have swam recently. Um, in fact, uh, probably most of them uh, aren't associated with swimming, even though we call it swimmers here. But uh, a lot of these kids come in with uh, painful eardrums. You see it often in, in young adults and adults as well, too. So the uh, ear will hurt when you pull on the tragus um, or, or the pinna of the ear. Sometimes you have some purulent discharge, but, the, but mostly it's this pain uh, and kind of an itchy pain. And uh, on exam, you're going to move the ear a little bit and see if they wince, and, uh, but be gentle because it really does hurt. And it, when you look with the light in the ear, then you see uh, just a, a red ear canal. Sometimes you'll even see uh, some scars from, from older infections or open, uh, open red wounds if it gets pretty bad. So the things that we want to make sure we rule out because we treat them differently are, first of all, otitis media. And otitis media is going to be on our list if uh, we see involvement of the tympanic membrane. Most of these people have had a recent upper respiratory infection, and so we're going to treat them differently. We'll give them oral antibiotics as opposed to the topicals that we're going to use for otitis externa. Ramsey-Hunt syndrome is going to look a little bit like this as far as the symptoms go, and, and maybe even on exam, but uh, we'll have painful vesicles in the ear canal, so that's what you're going to look for. And this is a, this is a herpes infection, so uh, we want to treat it with a, a cyclovir. And the reason it's urgent is because some of these people can uh, actually uh, get blind, uh, be blinded by... Uh, a herpes infection, so we want to be be really careful to take care of this quickly. Also, it can be extremely painful. Um, it's a it's a really uh, really painful thing. So to prevent this uh, with the older patients, make sure they're getting uh, Zostavax. Malignant otitis externa is just a, a really bad swimmer's ear, basically, and, and the infection is is spreading. And so into the bone. So the patients that you want to look for this in is uh, diabetics that have had a, a bad uh, otitis externa. And so we'll get a CT or MRI, uh, especially the temporal bone. And if it, if it is involving the bone, then we have to go in and, and surgically debride the bone after, after a trial of systemic antibiotics. So the way we diagnose uh, just a regular swimmer's ear, or otitis uh, externa, is just by looking at it, and um, we'll we'll treat it as soon as uh, as soon as we see it, and uh, only get a gram stain in most cases if the uh, infection isn't going away, and we'll we'll get a CT um, if they have risk factors like we talked about for diabetes or if, um, if the patient looks really sick. So to treat it, an important thing that I saw that you don't see in doctor's offices, or at least I haven't seen in doctor's offices, is they clean the ear. So cleaning the ear canal helps the, uh, to provide a, a cleaner environment where the bacteria can't grow as well. Um, antibiotic drops are the treatment of choice in most cases. And w remember, we're, we're covering Pseudomonas and Staphylococcus, uh, Staph aureus, those are the most common pathogens. So a corticosporin drop is one of the most common ones I've seen. Colomycin or quinolone drops like Cipro and Floxin also work. In fact, uh, soda ant antiseptics and acetic acid. So all of these are are pretty much uh, as effective as each other, except for the acetic acid in one study wasn't quite as effective. So 
So you don't necessarily have to use the antibiotic. You can use an antiseptic drop, but uh, but the antibiotic drop gives the uh, maybe a little uh, added reassurance. You want to control the pain often with oral analgesics, but glucocorti uh, glucocorticoid drops in the ear can also help to calm down the inflammation and make the patient feel better. Uh, one study did note that... Uh, that it slowed down healing by a little bit, but most of the other studies showed that it didn't make any difference. So, so I'd go ahead and give your your patients uh, uh, glucocorticoid drops if you want to make them feel better. Uh, remember though that this is uh, not supposed to be a guide for treatment, but a, a learning tool for medical students and uh, culture the stubborn ones. So here's a. Uh, credits for the pictures that I used and if you want to help out with the project please let me know uh, you can email at volunteer at worldmedicalschool.org or just as helpful um, is just leaving some comments so we can make the videos better and uh, we'll be adding more videos soon thanks <laughs>